Hi, this is Miss Litton, and this is my wonderful Period 4 Honors Bio class. Um, say hi. Hi. And we are starting our discussion on Chapter 5 um, for our group shared notes on cell division. So this little boy has skinned his knees. Now, he needs to replace those knee cells. Do his two knees have to have sex? No. 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 Okay. Um, so there is a type of cellular reproduction, um, asexual reproduction, called mitosis. And when you do mitosis, you will make a clone of the cell that you're starting with, an exact clone. And the way I remember that is my arms, my legs, my toes. Okay? It's used for, got it? <laughs> it's used for um, replacement of tissues uh, and growth. Um, myo, my meiosis is a different type of cellular reproduction. In this process, instead of doing copying the DNA and doing one division, you need to still copy the DNA, but do how many divisions? Two. Two. And the reason is you want to get down to a haploid number, half the number of chromosomes, and this would be getting ready for sex. And that's because if you take a half, like a gammy, and hook it up with another half, a half and a half makes a whole. Oh. And that would be your diploid, diploid zygote. And then that diploid zygote, like this little baby, okay, um, they will do cell division in order to get bigger. Um, will they do my arms and my legs mitosis or myomimiosis in order to get bigger? Mitosis. mitosis. He's getting bigger. Later in life, he will do myomimiosis. And that will just take place if this is a little boy only in his what? His huevos rancheros, his testes, right? That's where myomimiosis will take place. Now, this process of cell division we're going to walk through. Um, you have already done a Google form on the cell cycle, and so you should be somewhat familiar with each of these stages. Um, the part that's added in is what you can see here in uh, mitosis um, and uh, the nuclear division. So the stages are prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase, and we'll be reviewing what happens in each one of those. You're familiar with G1 and S and G2, and I want the oldest bio buddy, you're going to review this slide as I move the little magic mirror. I want you to talk about each one of those stages. So oldest bio buddy, you go first. Please. <laughs> now what? We have the same birthday. Same day. I mean, what time? Are you older? Oh, I think it's Wednesday. All right. Oldest bio buddy, you took care of that one. Youngest bio buddy, you do this one. And then, if, if you're not going to the go. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah, because it gets bigger at the end. And then, Okay, so come back to me. Sorry if you're not done, but come back to me. Eyes up for a minute, please. Eyes up for a minute. What's new? What's new in this one that we didn't see in the previous slide? What do we add in here? Oh, G0. Yeah. Interphase is G1, S, and G2 all together. They're called interphase, so it has three parts to it. And then you have mitosis, the M stage, which is mitosis and cytokinesis. So G0 is new. And this is where you go not to divide. Um, think about this for a minute. If you got the little boy skinned his knee, but if you had been in a car, ac a car accident, um, it's one thing to replace knee cells. It's entirely different if your spinal cord gets damaged. Because what happens if your spinal cord, eyes up for a little bit, what happens if your spinal cord gets damaged? You're paralyzed. You're paralyzed. Why are you paralyzed? Because it doesn't, the cells there's don't no grow. grow. Yeah, there's no more repair. Where do you think those cells are at in the cell cycle? G0. They're in G0. Okay, so they are not dividing anymore. They're not moving through in the cell cycle. It would be wonderful if we could develop a way to get them out of G0 and to re-enter the cell cycle. Because if we could get your spinal cord cells to re-enter the cell cycle and keep going to G, 
to go into S and G2, then what could happen? You could walk, you could walk again or whatever it is. You could repair those cells, right? Now think about a disease where you would like those cells to enter G0. Cancer. Cancer, exactly. Cancer is the cell cycle out of control. So if you could get them to stop being cancerous, then that would be great if they would stop in their division. Okay, so um, walking through, let's put some um, pay, uh, type, I'm gonna say paper to pen, but fingers to keyboards. Um, G1, what did we say the cell does? The cell what? Grows. And what increases? Cell grows and you get more what? What else do you generate? Organelles, good. So cell grows larger and organelles increase. So G1, cells grow larger and the organelles increase. In S, you do DNA, what are you doing? What does the S stand for? Synthesis, DNA synthesis. That's replication. Let's think for a minute, you already learned that. Show me right here, show me DNA. What does the DNA have to do? Unwind and unzip, helicase, and then we use what? DNA polymerase, boom, 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 ligase, then these twist up and they form what? Sister chromatids held together by a centromere and they separate during what? Anaphase, anaphase of mitosis. So this is where this occurs during the S stage. The DNA, so you boom, boom. And that is when you do your S stage, you get two copies of the DNA, so you can give one to each cell. In G2, what it gets synthesized during G2? Proteins. Proteins, Proteins are synthesized during G2. Okay, the M stage right here, this is all referred to as M, but this area right here of the M stage, that is mitosis, okay? And this right here is anaphase, that's what we were talking about. That is the point of mitosis where you separate your sister chromatids and give one to each cell, okay? And then the other part of that is called cytokinesis. What do you hear in cytokinesis that's familiar to you? Cytoplasm. So mitosis is the division of the nucleus, the nuclear division. Cytokinesis is division of the cytoplasm, everything else. Okay, mitosis just refers to the nucleus and cytokinesis refers to everything else. Okay, so on your notes, you have mitosis. And what word are you gonna put in front of division? Cellular. Nuclear. Nuclear division producing how many nuclei? Two nuclei that contain the exact same DNA. That contain the exact same DNA. One nucleus for each cell. Cytokinesis, sorry, that's part of a song. I'll say. Cytokinesis is division of the cytoplasm. cytoplasm. Forming how many cells? Two, Two cells. All right, so take a look at this picture and See if you can figure out, I made this little cell here, if you can figure out what some structures are in this cell. Anybody yes. identify something? Yes? Those are mitochondria. Mitochondria, good job. These are the mitochondria. What else can you find? The nucleus. Yes, nucleus, and what would the dot dot be? Membrane. Nuclear membrane. membrane, good. And what are the things inside the nucleus, do you think? Chromatin. Yeah, the DNA, chromosomes. What else do you see? Oh, where would you say, where do you think you're looking at centrioles? The little concurrent stuff. That? Okay, yeah, this is not drawn to scale. Um, I'm not using centrioles in this picture. It's to represent something else that starts with a P that you learned about in the cell cycle. You make more of them at some point. Proteins. Proteins, yes. These are proteins not drawn to scale. <laughs> okay, they're really super, super large proteins. So we have the nucleus, we have um, proteins, we have one organelle here that's mighty mitochondria. Any guesses what this organelle could be? Yes. Lysosome. Oh, good. It could be a lysosome. What else could it be? A vacuole. Sure. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this cell and predict what's going to happen. So let's start at the S stage. What does S stand for? Synthesis. What will we be synthesizing? DNA. DNA. Good. So where's the DNA located? And what color is it in this picture? 
Multiple colors, exactly. Now I want to tell you at this stage of interphase, because S, G1, and G2 are all part of interphase, at this stage you would not see the chromosomes as being visible with your eyes. The nucleus would just look solid. The only reason I made them visible right here is so that our understanding of it would be better, okay? But it would just be a solid. So during the S stage, what should happen to each of those? They get duplicated. They should get duplicated. So let's see if that happens. And it did, okay? What we formed just now are sister chromatids held together by a centromere. Those are gonna separate during what stage? Anaphase. So each cell will get a red one, each one will get a black one, each one will get a purple one during anaphase of mitosis, okay? So now our chromosomes have doubled in the S stage. What follows the S stage? Okay, so, oh actually we're doing this out of order. Yeah, sorry, so let's, so sorry, I did that out of order. What should I have started with? G1. G1. My bad. Okay, so what happens in G1? It grows, grows larger. Grows larger and makes more organelles. Makes more organelles. So let's see if that happens. Oh, it did. G1 now S. Okay, and now what would we do? G2. G2. What should happen in G2? Protein. More proteins. Let's see if that happens. Oh, it did. Okay, and then what follows G2? Mitosis. Mitosis and cytokinesis. So what should happen here? And it did. Okay, so now we have formed two cells. They are clones of each other. Now, this process, when we do it, okay, um, oh, here, it's a little mean for you. When you do this process, okay, it is controlled by several different um, signals. And so on your notes, this matches up with your notes, um, basics, controlled by external and internal signals controlled by external and internal signals. The signals are, um, are a molecule that stimulates or inhibits a metabolic event. Stimulates or inhibits a metabolic event. And your example are growth factors. Your example are growth factors. Okay, you got it? Youngest bio buddy. Without looking at the board, tell them the basics about control of a cell cycle. Go ahead. Okay, now come back to me for a minute. Um, when I grew up and you went to the airport, you literally could get dropped off at the airport and run all the way to the gate and like show them your ticket and then get on the plane. Literally run. It would take you, depending on how large the airport, it could take you like 10 minutes, take you five minutes if it was a small airport. That's it. You did not have to get there. If you were doing an international flight, you would maybe get there two hours in advance, you know, for an international, but if you were just flying, you could be there like half an hour before your flight, no problem, you're on. Then what happened? I love it, so that changed things. Oh, wait, let me go back to old times too, this is kind of cool. When you would fly in somewhere where you had family greeting you or friends, it was so cool because they could be right there. You know when you're waiting to get off the plane patiently and nobody's moving because the doors haven't opened yet and you've got your little stuff and then you walk through that tunnel, then you come out, all your friends and family would be right there, right at the gate. You'd be like, ah, and then you're hugging and then you would go walk and get your luggage together. Um, so that, that's all changed, okay? And now you can't even get in the airport unless you have a what? Ticket. You gotta have a ticket. It's the same thing for the cell cycle. To even start the cell cycle, there has to be a ticket. They're called cyclins, and those have to build up around the cell first. And then once you get in the airport with your ticket, what do you have to go through next? You have to go through security. And they're gonna make sure that you're not bringing anything out on the airplane that you shouldn't be bringing on the airplane. And then even then you're still not done, right? Because what do you have to do after security? Um, agriculture security. 
Well, you might. What are you packing? Uh, <laughs> no, but I mean, you have to have a ticket to get in the airport. You go through security, and then gate. once you're at the gate, what you do you have to do? Ticket. You have to show your ticket. Ticket. Right. Yeah. yeah. So there's lots of checkpoints, and it's the same thing for the south. There are different checkpoints, and all along, do you see right here where it says cyclins must be present? That's a ticket. You, you know, it has to have buildup of a certain cyclin, M cyclins to go through mitosis, and even then there's a checkpoint to make sure you're doing it right. And after you're done with mitosis, here in G1, following mitosis, now you're getting ready to grow and make more organelles, they're gonna check to make sure mitosis was done correctly, and if not, you're gonna have, the cell's gonna have to commit suicide. What's that called when a cell commits apoptosis. suicide? Apoptosis. Okay, and then before it goes in to replicate the DNA, before this, it will again, you'll have to have enough cyclins, S cyclins, like a ticket, to get you moving into the S stage, and again, then they'll check to make sure you did that right. So on your notes, you can see um, checkpoints. There are three. Checkpoints, three. The cell is checked to see if DNA is damaged or can't be repaired or chromosomes not lining up correctly. And um, apoptosis if they don't pass one of the checkpoints. Apoptosis if they don't pass one of the checkpoints. And you remember what apoptosis is. That's a normal part of growth and development but it also happens following a sickness or disease in your immune system, needs to pare down some of its numbers, but it also happens if you have a bad cell, a good cell that's gone bad. And it is a balance between mitosis and apoptosis to help maintain the normal level of somatic cells. The normal level of somatic cells, and this will prevent a tumor. All right, let's check to see. Everybody got their notes? Let's see how you do. Try to get some hundies. Now you have done a poll over this. You have done notes over it. I have lectured you. You have discussed it with your bio buddy. Not once, but twice. Five times Literal we have approached this. Iggy Azalea, that's so Oh my god, I said I'm a little white. I'm a little white. No one's Oh, why is that? It's literal trash can. I'm a cupcake. I don't know. I thought you were. Oh my goodness. How are you missing this? Cupcake cookie. All right, peeps. I'm going to repeat. You did a pogle over this. You, each you and your partner both explained the cell cycle. I explained the cell cycle three times. How are we missing? Okay, check your bio buddy's clicker. If they don't show, give them a shame bell right now. Otherwise, a gong of victory. Are you comfy? Okay, let's try again. Bear down, focus, and oh, by the way, your notes are right in front of you. Wait, 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 wait. During what stage are more organelles formed? Oh, I almost marked the wrong answer. Wow. During what stage are more organelles Oh, I got you. No, it's not. That's the thing I'm going to talk about. Oh, my God. All right, so um, guys, one way to think about this is right after you did mitosis, you had one cell become how many? Two. two. So if you had one becoming two, those two cells are going to be really what? Small. Small. So they need to grow, right? And in the process of growing, they need to make some more organelles. Be logical about it, okay? Because 
you just divided, so grow and make more organelles. Then in the S stage, you would do DNA replication, and then in the G2 stage, what would you do? Make some proteins, right? Remember how I told you you needed a ticket to get on the airplane? Those are some of the tickets you can make. Um, is it possible for more organelles to not be formed than in this, like a problem? Sure, yeah. But if that's happening, there may be something wrong with your DNA or something like that. Um, also, um, do you remember which organelles are self-replicating? Mitochondria and chloroplasts. Yeah, so there could be something with the mitochondrial DNA too. All right. So on your notes, chromosome structure. Following S and G2 stages of interphase, of interphase, cells prepare for mitosis. Um, the chromatin or chromatin, which is the DNA and protein, start to coil up into rod shapes. Chromosomes appear as double. You have sister chromatids, two copies due to the S stage, joined by a centromere. Um, organization, the DNA winds around histone, H-I-S-T-O-N-E, protein spools, to form a nucleosome. The nucleosome then begins coiling into, until condensed into a chromosome. And um, this right here is showing you, this is the DNA right here as a double helix. Now we're just backing away a little bit. That same DNA up there is now we're farther away. And so you can see it coiling onto these nucleosomes, which then twist on each other, which then twist and then twist on each other. A good idea of like explaining this would be if I just took three of her hairs, just three, total three, and I braided that all over her head, just three hairs. And then I would take some time. <laughs> then I would braid those together, and then I would braid those together, and then I would braid those together until I had a super braid. Okay? So that would take that, Yeah, that would years. take a while. <laughs> okay? But yet the cells can do that very rapidly. Okay? So good job. We will pick up. Remind me to show you the video. Okay? Next time. Oh my God. Oh, I can't even think about it. It's too Oh, I just can see anxiety. Like, hope you're having a good day. I put it in the